right. now let's continue with our operation of matrices the other part for this lecture class okay number one we will look at the addition and subtraction of matrices so we will focus on how you can add and subtract your matrices okay let's look at a bit of our concept there for m by n matrices okay you have matrix a you have matrix b with its one one of its element we call as a i j b i j sub i j all right so when you have to add a plus b equal to c so you get the element of c there Okay, where C I J is, you have to add A I J plus B I J. So as you can see here, uh, the row and column is the same. So that means when you want to add elements from matrix A and matrix B, we choose the same couple uh, or the same partner. Okay, for you to add. It also apply when you want to subtract. Okay, when you want to subtract, we use uh, we subtract from the same position. All right. So let's look at our properties here. Uh, a plus B is just equal to B plus A. Doesn't matter who who at the front. Okay, doesn't matter who at at the back. Okay, A plus B is just equal to B plus A. It is cumul is co we call as Commutative. Next one, associative. Okay, as you can see here, you have bracket in front, and here is bracket uh, bracket at the back. It's okay because it's just addition. I right? just involving addition, so we call it as associative. Okay, next one is a plus bracket minus a. If you put minus a, and then at the back, and then you put minus matrix a plus matrix a. Uh, in the front, okay, you, as you can see, you change the position, so equal to zero, so zero is called as zero matrix. Okay, noted here that the addition or subtractions of two matrices with different orders, okay, if you want to add or subtract if you with different orders, it is not defined or incompatible. What does it mean? When you have different order, for example, you have matrix A, matrix B, but different order. So you can can add or subtract. Okay, we can do the operation. So we we'll look at our net example here. Let's look at example ten class. You are, we need to simplify uh, the given quantity for. M by M matrices, you have A with the element A, B with the element B, you have matrix A, you have matrix B and matrix C. Let's look at question A, A plus B. Let's do this together. A plus B means that you just take it, our A matrices, okay, write down all the elements plus with B. Okay, for 3. 3, negative 5, and 6. Alright, so we need to add the matrices. But before that, I would like you to identify the order of matrices first. Okay, what is the order for matrix A? You have 2 row and 2 columns. So it is 2 by 2. How about your matrix B? Okay, your matrix B, you also have 2 row and 2 columns. So it is 2 by 2. Okay. Okay, right, so let's add. For you to add, uh, because you have the same order, okay, so that's mean uh, for addition, you have to have the same order, okay, for us to say to add the same partner, okay, for example, this is the our first partner, so one plus four, okay, next one, you have two. The partner, our partner is at the same position. Okay, 2 plus 3. Alright, next one you have 3, 4. Sorry, 3 and negative 5. And the other one you have 4 with 6. Okay, with its partner. That's what I mean. When you want to add, we will add with its couple or its partner. Alright. 
So I will write down, don't forget the square bracket as it is our matrices symbol. Alright, so our final answer, we will have 5, 5, negative 2, 10. Okay. Uh, so for addition for matrices, it's very uh, easy for you to conquer. Okay. Let's look at another example. Question B. Okay, we have A minus B matrix A minus sub or subtract matrix B. Let's rewrite the matrix first. We rewrite the equation. Alright, the question first. We have 4, 3, negative 5, 6. It's the same as uh, addition. You will need the same order for both matrices. Okay, the order, the same order for you to do the operation. Okay, why? Because with the same order, we can use its partner. So here you have 1 minus 4, 2 minus 3, 3 minus minus 5. Uh, as you can see here, I will choose its partner. Okay, from the same position. Alright. Uh, okay, let me highlight. Uh, let me do some highlight. Okay, 1 with 4. That's why 1 minus 4. Okay, let I choose 3 here. Okay. Alright. So, there. I'm waiting for my pen to react. Okay, so okay, so you can see uh, okay the one uh, one example that I highlight there. Okay, with the same position, the uh, the same couple, same partner, you subtract or add with one another. Okay, the if front okay must be a minus b matrix b, not b minus a. You can change the equation for subtract. You can change. Okay. So at the end, your calculation will be negative 3, negative 1, 8, negative 2 as our final answer for this subtraction. Okay, so it is easy. Alright, our last equation for this example 10, you have 1 plus C. Okay, matrix, sorry, matrix A plus matrix C. For matrix A, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, matrix C. Add, add, eh? addition 1 2 okay as you can see here uh, what the 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 thing the important thing that i highlight it must have the same position or same order because we need the same partner for a the order is 2 by 2 how about c matrix c your row is 2 your column is you only have one so it is 2 by 1 as you can see here, it's not the same. All right, the order is not the same. So you you don't have the partner enough partner there. Okay, yeah, we don't have enough partner. So what is the answer for this one? It is undefined. Okay, A and C, the matrix A and C are incompatible. All right, with each other compatible all right since right they have different orders okay so as you can see from here it is very very important for you to take out or note down I know the order first before doing the operation. Okay. Okay, now let's move to our second part of this lecture to scalar multiplications. Okay, do you um, understand with the word scalar here? What is scalar or scala? Okay, scala is like any value lah all right you can call it as any number okay for example if c is a scalar okay if c is a scalar and a equal to one of its element then you multiply c with matrix a so the element will change okay because it's affected lah that's the value is will change so let's look at our properties here you have a uh, scalar 
alpha plus beta multi bracket multiply with matrix A. Okay, so it is equal to like you will multiply for each value. That's why you have alpha here and you will also have beta here. That means you need to expand. Okay, multiply where alpha and beta is our constant uh, or our scalar. Okay. Number two, next number, our example of properties, alpha multiply with matrix A plus matrix B. So it is equal to alpha matrix A plus alpha matrix B. Okay, that's show that if you have a scalar, you multiply, you will, um, you will, your, your values will change okay because we will multiply and the last one we have alpha bracket beta alpha equal to bracket alpha beta sorry it's not alpha it's matrix a okay so for this one we will look at for our next and okay class let's look at example 11 okay given matrix a and you have a negative one over two matrix a so this is your scalar okay so negative one over two with matrix a means you will uh, multiply all elements with negative one over two all element inside matrix a okay so you will have okay negative 1 over 2 multiply with 2 negative 1 over 2 multiply with negative 4 okay okay i will show you all this okay negative 1 over 2 multiply with 5 negative 1 over 2 multiply with negative 6 negative 1 over 2 multiply with 7 okay uh, so you will calculate all that and at the end you will get negative 1 2, negative 4, negative 5 over 2, 3, negative 7 over 2. Uh, so. Okay, so that's how you do the scalar multiplication for matrices. Very easy.